Hi again, it's um, Bank Holiday Monday, um, the end of May, and I've been to three boot sales I've, over this holiday. I've picked up loads of stuff, some good, some not quite so good, but I'll run you through what I've got. So where shall I start? I'll start over this side and I'll work my way over. For a start I thought uh, these, um, Lee Cooper, sort of denim shoes, a pair of them, they're about 50p. Hush Puppy um, sandals, they were £2, a little bit high for them really, but you know, that's one of them things you think, you know, things are good at the time and then not so good when you walk away, but anyway, I've um, got these, these seem to be quite a good buy, these were £2 and they're, they're hotter, but Gore-Tex boots, they were £2 and they're, as you can see, they're in lovely condition as new. And I saw a pair of these new go with defects for over fifty pounds. So for two pound, I think I'm easy looking at sort of thirty pounds for them. So they were a good find. Uh, where are we now? I got these um, Nike Air Max. Which are in used condition, but good used condition. But them and these Vans were more or less as new. I paid quite high for them, I think, but I suppose it was about right. I paid £10 for the two pairs. The vans, I've looked, and they sort of make between 15 and 20 on a good day. But with the Nike Air Max, I think I can probably go for about sort of 25 on them, something like that. So they're, they're the best, even though the condition's not as good as the vans, they'll be the ones that make me the money there, I think. I'll keep moving stuff out of the way as I go. Um, I've got these Converse. The girl reckon they were limited edition, I'm not too sure. But they're in good condition. They were 350 probably a little bit too much. But still, not a bad deal, I'm happy with that. So, where are we now? Um, this camera I bought, I don't know why I bought this, um, I just looked at it and thought instant camera instant camera, and I thought Polaroid and I, I, it didn't even click that it was a, a Kodak. It cost me £4 which they're on eBay for about £14 free postage so there's hardly anything in that at all. That was a bit of a fail but there you go. I, I've got it now so I'll try to get rid of it. Um, I bought this Game Boy Advance with two games. It had the the Simpsons um, circuit game with it, um, cart game, and this um, oh yeah, there it is. It's a Super Circuit game, and the Herbs game. The other three games games I already had, and I basically bought that to bundle the whole lot together. But I paid quite high for that compared to what I've seen other people pay. I paid fifteen for that, including the cart game. And the herbs game, but as I was paying her, I said, Will you throw this in for nothing in with the deal? Which he did, so I got a Sony Walkman out of it for for nothing. So I'm probably thinking about 10 12 pounds on that, so that sort of saved me from that deal. I think, uh, where are we now? I picked up um, some. Blank video tapes, I always pick up them for about 50p each. I think there's a bit of a resale value on them. And over the weekend, I think I got one, two, five, yeah, five audio cassettes, all brand new and sealed. So I think there's a bit of value in them as well. I've got another Polaroid camera. I know these are good. I got one, had one before. I had to pay a fiver for that. You wouldn't move at all on it, but I think I can get 30 plus back for that. So I'm quite happy with that deal. Uh, we're right on the back um, there. Um, oh, there, this one. This was a, a good deal, I thought. A Panasonic um, CD player. It's even got Dixon's um, receipt in it from when it was new. The plug's all sealed and everything. I don't think it's hardly been used. That was a pound. And it was quite strange. Whatever you asked a girl on the stall for, whatever it was, everything seemed to be a pound. So that was, that was a bargain. I bought the t this mini TV off the same stall. Funny enough though, that was her dad that asked for uh, um, that had that, and he wanted 
two pound for that. So I'll give him two pound for that. Um, a Casio cab player. Let's see if I can do it. It's quite. A, it's one of the old ones, but it's in absolutely lovely condition. It's still. You can't see on the photo probably, but it's got the cellophane over the keys still. And someone's even printed the instructions. I can't. Oh, it's got instructions in the back. Not the original one, but it actually has got instructions in that. I had to pay two pound for that, but. That's a nice retro style calculator, so I was pleased with that one. Let me just move some stuff out of the way a little bit. I always pick up these sort of book, uh, there's nothing in it at all, it's just Land Rover, so anything with like a car name on or anything, I usually pick them up if they're cheap enough, it's only 50p, so I'm pleased with that. Um, we have some baby frames here, um, like that. Three of them. 75, 75p, so 25p each, so they're a bargain. Now we've got a few games here, and let me, I'll show you what they are. Well, I haven't got that game, it's just a label we've got chucked in. I've got Simpsons Wrestling, which isn't really worth too much for the PS1, but I've got the Bugs Bunny um, game, or is it Lost in Time, and it has got the manual, but not the case cover. And I've seen just a disc on eBay for that for nine ninety nine, and what? So I've got the manual as well, so it actually pushes the value up a little bit more. It's not complete, but it's I think there's a bit of good resale value in that. I've worked out about pound seventy five p a pound. Space Invaders, which is really good. It's got um, I think a whole lot in there. Yep, got the manual and the game in lovely condition. I think that's about a five six pound game, and that was. About 75p as well. This one won't worth much, even though it's got a massive thick instruction book in it. Like a novel, really. Uh, and that's in lovely condition, but they're only worth about £4 on eBay, something like that. This was just, I think, 50p or a pound. I just got that because I've got a Wii I want to get rid of. And I'll chuck that in with a bundle. This, I thought, because it's Rain Man, it might have been worth a bit more. Basically, it's worth nothing. I think that cost me about 50p or a pound. Sparrow into the dragon, not worth a fortune for the PS2, probably might get fiver for that, free postage. Ratchet and Clank, might make a little bit more than that, might make six free postage though. So I always pick up them just because of the name. Uh, we have, I got that, uh, memory card, that was just 50p. Well that was part of a bundle actually, so probably worth that less because I got this, these are my best finds I think, this, and they're complete in lovely condition. I'm not sure if the product key has been used or not, but I'm just going to list them that I don't really know too much about them. And these sort of go, I've seen 30, 40, new, I've seen them 100, I really do not know the value of them, but everything's really good. So I've got them two, that card. This, which on its own is worth about £17, it's uh, auto air conditioning trigger and gauge and that. So I've got that, and I haven't got them on the table, but I've got two um, NatWest Peaks in with it. Um, oh, and a few other bits. It cost me 15 for the whole bundle, which that alone should get me my money back, and I'm left with them them and all the other bits so that was a good deal got some ink cartridges one has been opened the packet's been opened but the cartridge hasn't been opened and i've looked them up and knew they're about 28 quid for the pair of them and i paid three pound for that so there's some good value in that i think uh some dewalt safety boots shoes i think they're probably worth 20 25 pound they're still toe cap ones as no Really good sole, and they were seven pounds. Tried to get them to six, but you wouldn't move. These Converse here, I think these were just about a pound, I think, and they're not in bad nick at all, really. Quite good condition. These are one pound fifty. Some um, Court Force Nike, sort of thing, size fours, but they're in pretty good nick, really. So they weren't a bad deal. I've got these as well, shoes, um, some Lambrettas, they've even got labelling, so they're as new, they were 50p, can't complain about that, not worth a fortune, but they're cheap enough. 
this was off a same store where everything was a seemed to be a pound and that's known and sealed a CD um, labelling system so I've seen them on eBay for I don't know 15, 15 quid something like that pre postage so there's a bit of value in that this um, cost me well, I don't know it's hardly cost me anything because it's bundled a few other little bits probably 50p this London board game it's not sealed but it's in lovely condition these make about 15 15 to 18 pound free postage so I'm really pleased with that that was a it's a good deal for about 50p. This one, they're not worth fortune, but it is sealed, and I'll probably hang on to this till Christmas. Battle of the Sexes, and it's got the seal on it, so that will probably stay till Christmas. I'll try and sell it then. This was a good deal until I, I got home and looked. I didn't check it, it was so cheap. Blu ray set of however you pronounce his name with all them films on there. And that was two pound, and then they're on eBay for about eighteen pound used, fifteen eighteen pound used. There's one disc missing. All the other discs are really good. So what I'm gonna probably do is sell them like separately like that. It doesn't actually show that it's part of the box set really. It doesn't matter if it does really, because you know if someone just wants them to. So I'm hoping I can sort of get seven or eight pound for each one, and then I'll be left with one one on its own. So that's what I'm going to try anyway for that one. Um, there's a bag of um, PS1 stuff, a couple of controlling some leads and that. I think that's £2 pounds for that lot. So I'll give it a go. Control is not worth something. Uh, Boots um, retro audio t television game. All complete. It looks quite good condition. Um, looks like it's new really. I've seen them go for sort of 10, 12 quid. I'll give that a go, probably put that on bid in and see where it, where it gets. I've got this. I'm really not quite sure about this one because it's the pack, but it's got two games in as well. It's got the 3D game and another game, I can't remember what it's called, but it's quite difficult to get out, so I won't. I, um, it's for the PC, so I'm really not quite sure. I think I might put that on bid in just to see where that gets me because I'm not really sure what that's worth, or I might just put... I don't know, I might add that in another video, in my, I'll do a sales video probably within the next week, so I might take that out and see if anybody can give me any advice on that, because I'm not really sure about that, so I may well get that out and show it on the video and see if anybody has an idea what it might be worth. Uh, where are we? Getting near the end now. There's a few bits I haven't put on here, but most of the best stuff I have, I'll go for this. A Panasonic Retro Swivel... Um, clock and radio. I think these are late 60s, 70s. That was £4. If, if I haven't tried it yet, but if it actually does, it doesn't work, it, I think it'd be a brilliant thing as a prop for an old thing. So I think that's got a bit of value after £4. You know, £4 wasn't a bad deal. Yeah, I've got these phones. They're not the VT ones like the box shows. They're um, Panasonic ones. Four phones, I think. Um, I paid £8 for them. I think they're probably worth about 25 quid or something like that. That's what I'm going to try for anyway. Maybe at the end of the video now. I've got this yoga thing. Another thing I might keep for Christmas. Book and DVD. I think that was 50 pair a pound. That was cheap. So much. And and a few more things now. This Lego. It's like old vintage stuff. Boats and a couple of base mat things. Base pieces. I He wanted 20 and I... Um, so I felt the weight of the tub and thought, well, there's got to be a couple of kilo in there. So I tried him for 15. He wanted 16, but then I got some, something little what my other half wanted. He threw that in for nothing, so it probably owes me about 15 quid. When I got home, I weighed it with the tub. It's over three kilos. So it's for about three kilos of Lego in there, plus these other pieces. So there should be quite a decent profit out of that lot. Had to pay quite high for Lego because people were just getting on to what it's worth. So there is some money still to be made out of it, but you've got to pay quite high for it. And then the last three things. A Liverpool shirt. Carlsberg one. An England shirt, Gerard on the back. And then a Crowns Paint FA Cup winner's one. Which is quite an old sort of retro Liverpool shirt, so... 
I couldn't find one on eBay like that, so I think that possibly might have a bit of value. For the whole three of them, I paid I paid three pound a shirt, which is a little bit more than I wanted to, but I'm hoping there's a winner in there, and I think it could well be that one. So, and the Gerard shirt perhaps might be worth something. You know, people, I've def there's definitely a profit there. So after this weekend, it's cost me a lot of money, but I've got a lot of stock now, so. I uh, haven't quite got the time to list that too much at the moment, but because I'm really busy with work, but at least I've got it now, and I'm pleased what I picked up over the weekend. So, I hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll be along with another one soon. Uh, sales one. I've sold a few, uh, some footwear. I've sold mainly, and um, so I'll be along with an update soon. Thanks for watching. Bye.